Hello, my name is Gabriel Soto. My name is Ruben Junco. And I'm Jose Quijano. We're missing Luis Maria Cherry. He's sick, so he'll be performing at his house with group number four. It is always assumed that when infidelity is discovered, it is supposed of the person who cheated, who is the worst affected. In reality, both are affected by this act. Coming to terms with infidelity is not as easy as others make it sound. You will be giving a lot of advices, but in the end, you will do what your heart tells you. Um, if you think you're supposed to deserve another chance, well, you should give it to her or to him. But if not, you can just think that it's time to let it go. Infidelity does not only include adultery. It also includes emotional infidelity, where you gel with another person, confide in her or him, exchange texts, emails, and talk to him more than you talk to your spouse. This also includes online infidelity, where, you, where a person may spend a large amount of time talking to someone, she or he, on the um, internet, more than you talk to your partner. Whether the reason is, infidelity is never justifiable. Learning that your spouse has found what he or she couldn't find in your marriage can cause anger, shock, and grief. This wave of emotions can bow you down and make you want to vent or take revenge. Some of you may be so emotionally affected that it may lead you into depression. Some of you may go into denial too and acknowledge that this has happened to many people. Are you sure about infidelity? Sometimes plain suspicions leads one spouse to believe that the other is engaging in an extreme extramarital affair. Suspicion without proof can be as, as devastating as the event of infidelity itself. You must, be, you must be sure of your spouse has been unfaithful to you, whether for a short time or for a long period of time. Once you have figured out those things, as painful as it, as it may be, it will be easier to, confr to confront your spouse. Are you aware for the reason of infidelity? Understanding why this happened is extremely important when trying to survive infidelity again. The blame game, the blame game may arise in this scenario where your spouse holds you responsible. Whatever the accusation, you will have to make time out to consider whether you share the blame this may be not the cause, but unless you put things in perspective, you will never know. Are you ready to accept reality? This is the most difficult part. You may not be ready to believe that something like this has happened to you, that your marriage may be at risk or that somehow both of you are responsible for this. Eventually, you have to come to terms with the reality of the situation. Are you ready to comfort the spouse? Becoming angry and sobbing your heart? It's natural. However, once you have passed this phase, talk to your spouse about the affair. The calmer you are, the easier to you will be to tell your spouse about the things. This is the only way you to be able to find out why your spouse saw something else outside the marriage. Can you speak to your spouse without mentioning the other man or woman? As a spouse who has been cheated on, you might have a strong desire to come from the other person and blame him or her. But at the end, or however, acknowledge the fact that the spouse was involved in this does not stop like the cause. Blaming the outsider for the entire situation is not feasible. While on this subject, try to ensure you avoid mentioning that the other person in the conversation all the time. It is easy to make hips about the expose at every opportunity, while it may satisfy your desire for vengeance. It will just distance you further. Are you ready to give another chance to your marriage? If the person not knowing the situation and not knowing everything that happened when you cheat and he decides to give you another chance, it's good, but you need to know in other hand that you need to reboil everything from the start your marriage starts again because you need to rebuild the confidence the trust the person have on you now if you do it for the sake of your children you need to know that the children who grow up in broken marriages like the ones the ones who cheat the one in another you need to know that if the child grow up in a loveless marriage they are content to 
have the same problems that your parents like have in their relationship now in conclusion you need to know that infidelity is a very difficult situation for the parents and to handle it why because it can be for many many reasons and you can start feeling from your heart and take decisions from your heart and that's not always the best option sometimes the best decision is to take your things and go and start again from the bottom and that could be the best decision you can take for your life